Now we have uh, county attorney, if you would come forward. Well, I'm not the county attorney, but I will come forward. Which item are we on? Uh, social justice. Okay. Okay. So it's going to bother me out of it. Okay. What are the other things? Hey, Rube, sorry. Uh, uh, that Rube. Uh, Mr. Chair and board members, what I'd like to do is uh, just do the introduction here, basically on the topic of uh, uh, social justice. As, as you know, uh, during this time of social unrest, there were various discussions taking place associated with historical markers uh, that, based upon some personal views, symbolize many things. Uh, for some, the views associated with certain historical names and markers seem to be painful reminders of the past, present, and future. For some, the same elements are viewed as history that cannot be erased. Discussions are taking place across the Commonwealth and nation and localities as to how to work through the process and allow the input of public opinion and to realize the sensitivity of the day. Potatoc is noted as the seatbelt of the Republic and has always been viewed as a leader for the communities to end, for other communities to emulate. The respect and character of our citizens have constantly shown through in history and will prevail into the future. It's noted that the Board of Supervisors are elected by the people as representatives to carry out the business of the county, and in this case, continue to add value to the good name of Bobotot County. At this point, Mr. Chair, I would, uh, it would be pleasing to you to uh, end up asking Mark if he would come over as the uh, legal counsel today. Uh, he's substituting for our normal legal counsel. Uh, by Lockerbie and would end up giving some uh, the galleries associated with this work the markers from uh, uh, at this point. Okay, thank you, Mr. Rubin. Afternoon, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, as you know, the uh, recently ended General Assembly session was uh, fast and furious with many changes occurring, and one of them was specific to the potential removal or relocation of historic monuments, um, specifically under Section 15.2.18.12 of the Code of Virginia, they set up a process by which local governments can either hear from the people uh, via referendum and or simply move through a public hearing process. Um, the referendum process is limited to being done prior to any public hearings. So if it is your wish to have a referendum on the issue of potentially removing any Confederate uh, monument within the county, that would have to be your first step. Now that will require getting you know, the appropriate question on the ballot, uh, working with your electoral lawyer to get that taken care of. But that is a process, an initial step, if you will, if you wish to have direct um, ability for the citizens of the county to vote essentially on the issue. If you choose not to do the referendum, that's fine because there is a process for holding a public hearing process now. That will entail, obviously, you having to open up your meeting to the potential for a large amount of people coming forward to speak. And that's completely your choice. But in any event, even if you did the referendum first, you'd still have to have a public hearing. So the question is, do you want to have someone being able to actually you know, push the button, fill in the circle, you know, physically to be involved, and potentially getting a lot more folks' opinions on the issue? Because let's be honest, how many people actually show up to these meetings for public hearings? It's only the really controversial items at this particular issue in this day and age clearly will probably bring a large amount of folks um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you would capture what you could potentially capture in a full board referendum having said that uh, the public hearing process uh, requires that you uh, put forth the public notice in a newspaper 30 days prior to the public hearing uh, setting forth your position as to you're, you're having a public hearing to discuss the potential removal of monument A, B, or C, whatever it is. Um, once that is completed, then you 
have your public hearing, and based on that, um, based on that public hearing, you can then decide whether to keep the monument, remove the monument, relocate the monument, store the monument, whatever you wish to do. But prior to doing that, you have to have another 30 days to actually uh, offer that particular monument for um, relocation or placement at a museum. Uh, we have a historical society uh, or some other military battlefield accept it and put it on their property. So there's procedural steps to follow, um, but there is the option now available uh, to have those monuments uh, removed, relocated, or contextualized, I guess is the, the term du jour these days. Um, but in any event, those are your options. Um, but there's no right or wrong option. It's completely up to you all to decide on how you want to proceed with this particular question. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, I think that uh, as, as uh, was discussed whenever this went on the agenda, this is just to start the discussion as to what ends up taking place. I wouldn't think that there would ever be any end result today, but it would just be the start of that process. That's what Mark has laid out. So uh, starting to listen to the community and to be able to actually move forward. So it's, it's, uh, it's the, uh, the board's uh, process, whatever you choose to do, we will try to work with that and move forward. Thank you. I've, uh, I know this is a delicate issue, but I've already talked to Mr. Clinton and asked him if he would get up to me or the group to uh, discuss this and bring back recommendations to the board. Uh, he's to set the committee up as you see fit and uh, just uh, bring the findings back to us so we can look at it and discuss it. Okay. Um, yeah, Mr. Chairman, I'm glad to do that. Um, it's a big job and important job, like y'all said, but as, as Gary said in, in his first introduction, um, our prosecutors as a leader, and, and, and I know this board is uh, working together and uh, can demonstrate that again. So I uh, know we'll start off Sort of detached from the board, then whatever group that I form, as you and I talk about, Mr. Chairman, be just me from the board and then citizens, and we'll work together to, to try to come up with a uh, with, with an approach. One, two questions I have that we may not have the answer to yet. One is the scope. I mean, we're talking here mostly about monuments. But there, there's also statements of belief. I mean, last month we, I think it was last month, we adopted a statement. Um, it's never got any public input, so I mean, I would, add, I, I would suspect that you would want me to include consideration of that type of thing in this to all of the monuments. You must, must, sir. What must I got in principle in terms of all the things that are happening now in, in, in our country? Uh, is that right? I mean, with, yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Then the other question is somebody, I think Aaron may have said um, it will take some time. Um, do we have any idea how much time it should take? I mean, I don't think necessary. Well, he's usually on the board before he even get the answer. <laughs> I mean, this is. This, <laughs> It's completely at your discretion, obviously. Um, if, if the board is seeking some kind of, you know, a reasonable turnaround, maybe two, three months, uh, I, but again, that's completely up to you all to decide how. To, I mean, if you leave it wide open, you may not get any answers relatively quickly um, and, and or in a reasonable time. So, you know, you may want to set some timeline just to, to get back to the issue. And if more time is needed, then. But you also need to represent the organizations and the people that are out there. So the people that you choose have to represent, you know, each area you're trying to hit. And that's hard to find those individuals. Yeah. 
And that's that's the work right there. Yeah, it was like wow. Thank goodness you. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Steve, I appreciate you agreeing to take that out. But, uh, and I'm sure you can bring something back to us next meeting, but it takes two or three months or whatever. That's fine. Okay. Any other that, That's just a form to group, is that right? Yeah, and set up a committee. And if he has any uh, idea of what he want to do, he can share that with us too. Yeah, Proverbs reports. Yeah. Right. Yes, sir, Doctor. Um, the, the only question I have, you mentioned uh, Council mentioned about one of the options being a referendum, you know, where the votes occur. So it, at some point there's a timeline that you have to meet to get it on the ballot, right? That that is true. That is true. Do you know what that is? At this moment in time, I would have to check with your registrar. I think you're pretty close to the deadline. Is it 81 days or that? It's what? 81 days out from the election. So, so we only got 10 days to make that decision. Make that decision. If you want to do a referendum, at least to meet this election cycle. If you, not because you have to do it this election, I, I, okay. but you know, you, you can do it later on. It's just a question of how quickly you want to move. Well, obviously, we won't get there in 10 days. So I, I just for, for my information. Thank you. Yeah. Let me ask you a question that really is, but it could be that the, the committee that he forms suggests put it on it. Put it on about for the following year. Yeah. I mean, that could be a suggestion. I don't know. That the committee suggests yeah. a referendum. Yeah. Yeah. Suggests it to the board. The board. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But we need to listen to people to find out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, gentlemen, anything else? Mr. Smith, thank you again. I appreciate that. Taking that out.